<clears throat> oh. All right. Just calm down. I'm just trying to calm myself down. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I got to calm myself down. I want to tell the story right now. I'm telling the story in the most positive way possible. There is no gap. There is no gap. You know you get to make a choice on how you experience today. December 5th, 2014, given your exact reality of what your life is. The choices you're making right now that you really, you're choosing to feel as if you don't have a choice instead of remembering that you do have a choice. You are making these choices. There's nobody or no thing to be upset about outside of yourself or to be frustrated or impatient. You're making the choice right now. You're making the choice on how to experience what your reality is and you're making it a fucking lot harder than it needs to be. We know it's not your dream life. We know this. You know this. It does no good to keep banging the drum of this is not my dream life, this is not my dream life, this is not my dream life and be pissed off about it. All you're doing by doing that is perpetuating the reality that you're focusing on. That this is not my dream life. Instead of focusing on what is. Focus on what is. And since focusing on the negative of what is makes you feel like shit. Instead, focus on the positive of what is. There's always positive. Find it. Find it. No, don't do the practical thing and find everything you should be worried about and prepare for every worst case possible scenario that almost never happens. Don't find all the things that, that could happen that you need to prepare for. That's your habit. That's your old habit. Focus on what is going well, what you do like, what... All the positive, all the stuff that makes you feel good. Focus on it, focus on it, focus on it. By doing that, you then make your life, it, then, then it becomes the joy that it should be for all of us every day. Because we chose to come here. We chose to come here to live. We didn't choose to come here to barely survive. We came to, we chose to be here to live. Why would we make that choice if we only are then going to die, you know, like to wish our life away more quickly? Like we should be living it to the fullest. That's what we came here to do. We came here to live it to the fullest. You do that by, we are love, our essence is love. So to live something to the fullest is to focus on what it's all, what binds it all together. What binds it all together is the love. The differences, I mean, there's other things that bind us to other people. We do have the differences. But what binds every single person together is love. Every single thing is love. Oh, God, God, I am like torturing myself. I'm torturing myself. I mean, I, and I'm not being overly dramatic. I feel tortured in my life right now, and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous from the perspective of spirit, because on so many levels, it's ridiculous. One, because it's so far from a torturous life, it's, it's almost embarrassing to even say what my reality is to explain it as torture. Like, it's embarrassing. Because most people on the face of the planet probably right now would die to have the reality that is my life. Billions of people on this planet right now with the awareness that they have would much prefer to have what the reality of my life is versus the extreme poverty and extreme struggle to survive that billions of people are, are experiencing. So that's what makes it kind of, that's what makes this tough 
it's it it takes you got to be really ready to be real to take full responsibility for your life cuz when you start doing that you start realizing yeek i'm kind of an ungrateful asshole i mean really really cuz when you start realizing that you really really we shouldn't be complaining about anything especially if we're living in america like really and if you've got a roof over your head if you've got a job if you've got food like <laughs> there are so many others but everything's relative everything's relative cuz this is the this is what i was brought up with i was brought up with such a level of guilt of being drilled into me basically you're so lucky and you don't des- it was more with this energy of you don't deserve it feel guilty about it I know you know and that was because that's how my parents how it was perceived to them and I think through no small part the catholic faith had something to do with this like this guilt this separation this I I don't know I don't know like that's the only big common thing that I see in in the struggle as I the biggest common thread is that catholic guilt guilt is is such a down vibration energy like having guilt has i've said it before the four horsemen worry fear anxiety guilt worry fear anxiety guilt that's all my life was that's all it was and my life was limiting my life gave all my power away to something outside of myself i forgot i i bought into that separation that god and and everything is outside of us and it's not it's within the powers within the knowing within the the answers are within the strength is within the energy is within like it's all right inside of us there is no separation that light that fuel is inside and we have been completely misguided and it's okay this is what was intended to happen because this stark difference this extreme polarization duality that our mainstream present paradigm has become with such a little shift when you start to see the light if you will it is so drastic that it's not going to take but a relatively small amount of people of individuals to shift that energy on the planet dramatically because it's that powerful when you go from being powerful in this limiting world and to be the most powerful in most cases you're you're it's fear based i would argue that the most power in the present paradigm lies with the people that ultimately and i don't even want to say people in in the belief systems that are ultimately founded on the greatest amount of fear and the greatest amount of belief in lack that interestingly paradoxically has aligned with what i feel has the most seemingly the most power in our present day which always right now aligns to money and influence positions of power decision making positions and actual literal spending power the 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 shift is recognizing you don't have to give that away you don't have to be afraid of somebody taking yours you don't have to fear that we're going to run out I'm telling you it's unlimited everything the foundation changes everything everything I know I just have to have the courage to start talking like that's all I need to do I just need to start talking about that I mean that's the suffocation and I I can still have I'm bouncing all over the place I'm bouncing all over the place. Why? Because I'm resisting. I absolutely have to go to work right now. This is all over. It's absolutely all over. I'm bouncing all over because I I I was just going to say I can do this. I can talk, I can make recordings. It doesn't have to follow like stop putting the pressure on yourself. There is no right or wrong. There is no perfect just do it just start doing just take the steps you are suffocating yourself you are torturing yourself you are doing this to you 
putting this pressure on working 45 hours at the farm, no matter what, you know, no matter, even if you have a race going on, which means you work 70 out, like it's, why, why are you doing this? Why? You are paying a thousand dollars a month down on your debt. You have done like miraculously well with what that wild financial scenario that you have faced as a result of leaping so far based on your unwavering belief in what is possible. That has not changed. I leaped that big because I am that sure of, my, of myself. I am that sure of my connection with this bigger thing that's pulling me and guiding me and basically hung the carrot out for me to leap after. And I didn't go any further than I could handle because that's how the universe works. You, if you're here doing it, you're doing it because you can handle it. But man, I never would have chosen this. Never, ever, ever. This wasn't the plan. I had a plan. This wasn't it. This was the furthest from the plan. I didn't spend any energy consciously worrying about if this scenario happened. So I have had to pretty much wing it the past year as I've followed the energy, followed the signs, followed the guidance, used greater and greater wisdom and discernment, learning from my choices and the energies, associated energies. It's ultimately, it's just been a 24 hour a day observation of the energy. My energy interacting with everything around me, all the energies around me, people, situations, events, corporations, business, plants, animals, everything. Me, me analyzing and getting to know my energy like never before. How am I allowing it to be affected or not affected by what I'm experiencing in my life? And it always, always, always comes down. Your own guidance system is how you feel. How you feel is based on how you're perceiving something. How you're perceiving something is based on what you've experienced in the past. And ultimately, it's based on foundational beliefs. And for most of us, our foundational beliefs are not our own. We didn't consciously decide to have those as our beliefs yet. Because we don't even really know what they are. But chances are, they're not yours. They're your parents, they're societies, they're our cultures. And the only way you get, you got to get real, you got to get honest, and mostly, you got to get out there and live. And experience for yourself, life. Interact with life. That shows you what gives you the opportunity. Okay, this is how you're feeling, so how, what would I have to believe to make me feel like this, good or bad? Like, what, what do I have to believe? And that's how you peel the onion and see and identify what is it that I believe. And then when you, you, you make the connection, you're like, oh, that belief is why I feel this way. Then you ask yourself, well, geez, I didn't even know I had that belief. Whose is that? Is that mine? Do I want to have that still for my life now that I know that I have that belief at some level within me? And if so, cool, now you got a level of awareness. You know yourself that much better. But if not, if that is a belief that is dig that you had to dig a little bit to get into, meaning it's a deeper belief. It's not on your conscious level awareness and now all of a sudden you're becoming aware of it for the very first time and now that you're aware of it for the very first time, you decide you don't want to have it anymore. Get ready for that work because sugarcoating that does no good right now. Like I'm not telling you to focus on, I'm not trying to make it dissuade you from making the choice because if it's something you don't want believe me at some point you're going to have to face that and change it because if it's something that you decide you really don't want to believe anymore but then you decide you're not going to do the work that it takes 
to break yourself of all the habits that you've now developed because you had that belief. <sighs> like, I'm, it's just, you have to be real. Like, this is the hardest work I've ever done by far is taking 100% responsibility for my life. And I'm telling you, I'm not saying what I'm about to say to brag in any way, shape, or form, but I was a person out there already taking a lot of responsibility for my life. And it's still been this challenging. Okay? Come on, you all, we all know people who are out there blaming everybody for everything. Nothing's ever their fault. There's somebody you never hear the words, I'm sorry, come out of their mouths. You never hear the words, I was wrong, come out of their mouths. You know those people. We all do. We all got at least one of those people in our lives. I'm not one of those people. I'm the furthest from one of those people. I'm the one always out there taking responsibility for shit I should never have taken responsibility for. So I'm one of these people that was already taking a lot of personal responsibility. And yet, this transition of taking 100% responsibility for always for the way I feel. The way I feel is never somebody else's or something else's fault outside of me. It's how I'm allowing it. I can try to blame them. But I'm still the one that's making that choice to allow something outside of myself to upset my peace and my happiness within. I'm the one that's always making that choice. And man, that is not something our world has encouraged us to do, to take responsibility. All we keep doing is creating more and more and more ways to put, to shirk our responsibilities, to blame something outside of us, whether we're blaming it because we're ADHD, because we're bipolar, because we, because we're depressed, because we're this, because we're that, or it's my parents' fault, or it's my, my spouse's fault, it's my kid's fault, it's my boss's fault, it's, it's the, my government's fault. It's who's like, that's all we've been trained to do. Blame somebody else. How about we get out there and we start really, really taking responsibility? Focus only on taking full responsibility. And I, we, we, I'm not talking about, although yes, there is a balance, you need to take responsibility of the good that you're experiencing too, but the stuff that's hard, the get real stuff, is taking responsibility for the stuff that is going shitty in your life. That's a hard thing. So I need, I've been, I'm not, I know these things of which I speak. Like I can, sp but that's what I'm saying. Like to actually do that to your core. Like it's like right now I'm in this funky place and where I struggle in the past year and, and as the stories are shared, this money story is the most powerful story of all. It, 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 it I guarantee, I, I, I guarantee it's a story that's going to be shared, but I also sense that it's years down the line because uh, there is no ending per se of the story, but there is a point at which the story that has to be reached before the story is going to be anywhere near ready to share. Intuitively, that's what I feel with this money story. But the oh my God. And it's no accident that at the dollar store of all places yesterday, I saw that Janine Roth, the author of one of the most influential books in my spiritual life called Women, Food, and God, Janine Roth, her most recent book called Lost and Found, all I know is that it's about, it's about money. It's about our relationship with money and her own experiences and relating it to her own experiences with food and how the relationship with both of those things ultimately are ref reflections of how we relate to our relationship with the world. So I'm, I'm hesitant to even read it. I bought it for sure because I'm like, holy shit, this is at the dollar store? Like, and my response was awesome, right? Because the... the I won't even go off on that tangent. Just not accident. Like I almost don't want to read it because I don't want to be influenced because I know I've got my own book, if you will, that I'm writing as I live it here with my own money story. And in that sense, I shouldn't be afraid of being influenced by her book because she's telling, I, I'm going to be telling it from my story. So how can my story ever be 
I mean, it's my story. So I can't, you know, plagiarize your own story type thing. Like, like if I'm worried about uh, getting just ideas, we... <sighs> See, and I can go off on tangent on that. I could say, oh, there's what is an original thought? None of it's original. We're all building off. A thought is out there. All these rivers, no one owns it. It's, it's as ridiculous as the concept of owning land is to the Native Americans. Like, what do you mean you own this piece of land? It's the fucking earth. Nobody owns the earth. Like, that's insane. You know, it's insane. What's insane is that I have to go to work and the anxiety that I feel, like it, it, it should be a tremendous freedom that we do not have a schedule there. There's a, a general expectation of when to be at the farm, but we do not have a set schedule. Ultimately, we are each individually responsible every day for making the choice of what time we go into work. And the majority of the people decide to go in on pretty regular days at pretty regular times. But... The option is there. And I am twisted, so twisted up right now with this option. It stresses me out. Yet it's exactly what I want. Like, it's exact. But see, I have to trust. I've never trusted other people in my world to communicate. Like, for communication is not, it's not just regulated to the people I've experienced and my friends and family in my life. Like, very few people are able to really communicate about the tougher things without hiding behind labels and roles and I'm your parent, I'm your boss, I'm your older sibling, you know, therefore I, you know, we, I work in an environment at this farm that is just, besides the, the guy who is the boss, I mean, he is, but he is as, is as loose in that term as possible. <sighs> Communication, like, I have to trust that if there's ever a problem with what I'm doing, that it will be communicated to me in an adult manner. Um, and, and that is something that I'm only personally learning how to do with the tough things. Communicating with stuff's easy. Um, now, I'm not going to say that's easy for everybody because some personalities, you know, more introverted people, shy people, it is a tough thing to communicate. But communicating with things are good generally is easier, all these things in quotes, than trying to communicate when things are bad or when something is going on where there's a disconnect, where there's disharmony, where you're on different pages, where something's not being said that needs to be said or received in the way that it's put, being put out there. That is the true measure of, of, you know, it really it's just emotional maturity. Taking the emotion out of it and just not taking something personally and being able to communicate. And taking adult responsibility with the awareness that we always have a choice. If you don't like it, somebody's, you know, then, then you always have a choice. If you're a, 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 a boss in a situation, you can always fire somebody. And if you're an employee in a situation, you can always quit. If trying to resolve something in, a, in, a, in an adult manner, in a way... Is, isn't an option that, that, one, that both people feel is possible. You always have a choice. You always have a choice. I just, I've, I, the choices that are in front of me, I'm making them, but I'm not really making them because I'm, I'm not trusting. Oh, okay. I, I am just, I just want, I just want to do my work. All day, every day, I just want to wake up and do my work. But I, my financial scenario is such that I, I have to earn money. I have to subs take care of myself. Nobody else in my world should, we, that's the other thing is when we start, we have to be able to take care of ourselves. And it begins emotionally, but as physical creatures living in this world, we also have the practicality of paying bills. And then when we start putting that pressure on somebody else outside of ourselves to pay for our basic needs, home, food, that starts all sorts of problems as well. But then there's so many people out there doing work that isn't compensated, i.e. being a housewife, being a, ma a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home dad, house husband, you know, there, there isn't, no one's being paid for that. So how do we have, how do we build in this value? How do you, how do you, how do you take care of yourself in a world where those are still things that you want to do, but you're not being compensated in a way that allows you to pay for yourself? And, and, you know, this money thing, I know this, mon this money thing is enormous. I have to frame the story in a different way. I'm not going there for money. I'm going there, like, the, the, I have to make that less. 
even though that's exactly why I'm going there. If I didn't have to pay this debt, and if I didn't have this extent of my, what my, how much money I need to be earning right now is so arbitrarily high because of, you know, this decision to give so much away, you know, and not leave anything to take care of myself in the scenario that, you know, should this scenario that exactly happened take place. I, I, I didn't, I didn't think. So it is all about money. I mean, that is why I'm going. But you gotta just change it, okay? So we're just gonna end, we're gonna end with changing the story. This is the way I'm gonna tell my story. It's physical, it's more physical than, than the work I would be doing is right now, because the work I'd be doing for myself is, yes, there'd be a component of getting myself back regularly at the gym and working out, for sure. So this is sort of a tough argument, but we're gonna, we get to choose the focus. No, in general, my work would be right, sitting right now. Maybe pacing as I talk to myself and gather ideas, but it mostly would be sitting down and writing. That, that would be an editing, writing, that would be my work right now. So going to the farm every day is, is definitely more physical. Even if I'm just barely moving in the, in the field to plant all day, I'm still moving more than I would be if I was doing my work all day. So it's more physical. I am getting paid. As much as I feel like I'm getting paid in these new ways with the work that I'm doing, my work, I'm not getting finance, I'm not getting money as we know money to be. I'm not earning money yet with it. And so in where my world is, what my reality is right now, that is still something I require more of like I have to have, we, I have to have that. I don't have a reserve, if you will, and don't know if I ever will have a reserve of that kind of money. I just, right now, I've got to be doing something that brings in a certain level of money, and that level's higher than it would be if I didn't have the debt. Like, whatever, I have to earn money. It's a perk of the job. I'm earning money. I'm around people that are of like mind. I, I can't really talk about my on the fringe beliefs because even as on the fringe as most of their beliefs are, mine go even further, right? Because I don't believe in governments. I don't believe in his or her, his or her. I don't believe in us versus them, like any us versus them. I don't believe in our, you know, the political system. I, I, I mean, I believe in, all I believe in is creating all of it new, is basically starting with the foundation of abundance, a foundation of, of love, not ever a fear, a foundation of unconditional love, no judgment, and knowing that we're all connected and a surrendering to this thing that's greater than us, that's very much present in our worlds and co-creating with it. And with that foundation, everything needs to be created new. Everything can be created new. And that's what I want to talk about, be, do. I want to talk about one another's dreams. I want to talk about how we can help one another to reach those dreams, support one another, at least minimally, energetically, to be living our dreams and following our greatest passion and and uh, that's what I that's what is that is what's there and that's what I can help create just with my thought of just my thoughts of that I don't need to express it in fact if anything I just want to not talk when I'm there I don't want to talk I don't want to talk I gotta go though I gotta go I gotta go I gotta go I gotta go so this is okay oh god I don't so hard it shouldn't be this hard it shouldn't be this hard oh okay it's it's not it's only as hard as you say it's going to be no problem easy peasy i can go work for eight eight nine next eight or nine hours no problem fun sun beautiful day preparing for my full moon gathering in my head Come home tonight, I get to make food, I get to clean up the house. My birthday's in a few days. Doesn't matter if I don't get 40 hours, like just ease up. Just ease up on yourself. Ease up, ease up, ease up. 